Simply let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything more comes from the evil one. That's Matthew 5.37. It's actually some pretty strong language, and it's one that convicts me because I've been very guilty of trying to be a people pleaser before and never wanting to say no. And then when you say no, people, I think a lot of people get offended, but I think we need to learn to be firm, and then when we can help, help, because we are supposed to be given of our time, but when we really can't, simply say we can't. I've always seemed to feel the need to justify or give a reason when I can't do something. And I don't know where that came from. I think I think maybe I grew up around that, but there's no need for it, especially when sometimes the truth of the matter is we really just don't want to do something, and then we're trying to give a valid reason to not hurt somebody's feelings. But I think if we all could just be more honest with one another, uh, everything would work a lot more uh, congruently. You know, there is the parable of the two sons. The father asked the one to go work in the yard. He said no. He asked the other one. He said, okay, I will, father. But then the one who said no did, and the one who said he would didn't. So he didn't keep his word, but the one who said he wouldn't had a change of heart because he realized the right thing to do is to honor your father and do the work that he asked you to do. So you can always say no, and then if you realize you have the time or you have the means or you do want to, then you can say, okay, I, I can I can do that. I can be there. I can, you know, whatever was asked of you. But I think if we could all just take Matthew 5:37 more to heart and let our yeses be yes and our noes be no, we would all just have a lot more joy. <laughs> because how often are we just talking about how, oh, somebody's flaking or this or that? We don't need flakes. There should be no flakes in the body of Christ. So let that be today's message. I had to do this one really quick, quite frankly, because today's been a stressful day, a lot of work, and I still have a lot of work to do. But my yes was I was going to do a video every day. So this is me doing that. And, you know, I take joy in it. Uh, but maybe we can all learn a lesson from it, too. And the busier we get, the more often we have to say no. Thank God. Jesus didn't say no to us and to what he had to do on the cross. So praise him. Uh, God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.